Hi, I'm Ramblin Gaming with a new segment for my channel which focuses on this week's news. It's been a slow week but I've pulled some of the more interesting news stories from each day. On Monday, Sega announced that they will not be having a Sega booth at E3. This comes to no surprise, however, because back in January we learned about Sega's restructuring plans for their business in America. At present, Sega US is in San Francisco, but they are planning on moving to Southern California. A Sega spokesman had this to say about the matter. Over the next month, Sega of America will be focusing on the restructure and relocation to Southern California, and we have decided to not attend E3 with our own booth this year. If you were hoping for a new Sega console, then you're out of luck this year. The PlayStation 4 has finally hit the 2 million milestone in the UK, which is rather exciting news as the PS2, one of its predecessors, was the fastest and best selling console in the UK. According to MCV, the deed was achieved over last weekend. This has helped the PS4 take an even stronger lead in the UK market over its competitors. Also on Tuesday, we got word that the Attack on Titan 3DS game Humanity in Chains will be delayed and be needing a name change due to copyright reasons in Europe. The game was previously set to release in both Europe and North America on May 6th. There is hope on the horizon, however, as the game is still going to be released in Europe. There just isn't a nail down date as of yet. As for people in North America, you can still go grab the game on May the 12th for $40. On Wednesday, we got even more convention news as Sony has announced it will be skipping Gamescom in 2015. When a Sony spokesman was asked, he had this to say. We are delighted to announce we'll be hosting an international media briefing at Paris Games Week on the 27th of October. With the changes this year of E3 taking place a week later and Gamescom taking place earlier, we feel that both PlayStation and the wider industry would benefit from a major news milestone later in the year during the most important period for gaming. This might come to quite a shock for some convention goers as Sony is one of the big three that is almost always at Gamescom. Will this make ticket sales drop for this year's Gamescom? Probably not, but it's a bit worrying to hear this news after tickets have been on sale for quite some time now. Remember Singer, that really popular company who made millions off a game called Farmville on Facebook? Well, they're having money issues again and are being forced to restructure their business once again. Uh, this will be quite shocking news for some of the employees at Stinger as they will be cutting 364 jobs at the company. When Singer's CEO was asked about the matter, he had this to say. This was a hard but necessary decision and I believe this plan puts us in the best long-term position for success. In other news on Wednesday, company CD Projekt Red released a new gameplay video showing off their upcoming game, The Witcher 3. The video shows us what to expect from the PS4 version of the game. The video is in 1080p, which seems to be the staple now for next-gen consoles after its rocky start with lower resolution games. Early on Thursday, Nintendo announced a major partnership with Universal Parks to bring the company's properties to their theme parks around the world. There are not many details at present on the topic, but a spokesman for Nintendo gave some hints of what this might lead to. He said, Spectacular, dedicated experiences based on Nintendo's widely popular games, characters and worlds. These include major attractions featuring most famous characters and games. No character names were mentioned, but I feel like it's most likely that you will see some Mario somewhere in this deal. Also on Thursday morning, a screenshot was released by Ubisoft depicting the trademark Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade gauntlets from the Assassin's Creed series as well as a cane. Maybe a sword cane? Not much is known at the moment. But Ubisoft did tweet out the tweet that's on the screen at the moment. Ubisoft must really have a lot of faith in the Assassin's Creed IP as they are releasing games rapidly out the door. Recently we just got our hands on Rogue and Unity and now there might even be a new one in the series. Some more Sega news for Friday. Sega has made it clear that they will be pulling games that don't meet the standards in mobile stores. The details are still vague but via a blog post on the Sega blog they said... At Sega, we are committed to making fun, high-quality mobile games, and it is with our fans' best playing experience in mind that we announce a removal of a number of games from our back catalogue. I only wish they took this stance with their AAA titles. Cough, Sonic Boom, cough. All news stories will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for tuning in. I've been Ramina Gaming with this week's news. If you want more content, you can always check out my Twitter account, which will be in the description underneath. You can also check out my other YouTube videos by hitting the subscribe button, which just allows you to know when I upload new videos, as I will be trying to get one of these news uh, videos out once a week.